I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Here I am, Mount Sinai Cemetery here in Los Angeles, California. As you can see, it is foggy, it is rainy, it is cold in Los Angeles. This is somewhat unheard of. This doesn't happen here. But it's gray, it's gray all around. It's just been and started last night around midnight and hasn't stopped just off and on. So I've been out here to this grave before, to the grave of uh, Bob Saget and right there is where I did the intro to that video I remember I was with my friends Christina and Pete we came out here Bob Saget did not have a headstone at this point he now does and I'm gonna show it to you and we walked all around here in my previous video I could put a link to that in the description where his family is and pay tribute to his family today we're just gonna uh, take a look at Bob's new headstone see what it says and uh, traditionally in uh, in the Jewish faith what happens is it's usually 30 days to 11 months afterwards that uh, the, the, the deceased gets a headstone. It's no longer than a year, but usually within 30 days to 11 months. So it's he died, I think, January 9th, 2022. So family just had to put in maybe about a week or two ago. And when I do graves, I, I really, um, if somebody dies suddenly, I get a lot of messages, a lot of texts now. People saying, you got to go to this, to this grave, this grave. Well, I like to go when there's a headstone and when there's, you know, been some time for um, family members to grieve, fans to grieve, you know, and um, yeah, so now the headstone's here. I did the other video because I was just asked so much to go to Bob Saget's grave and literally where I am is right across the street from Mount Sinai. I could walk here if I wanted to um, in this weather. I didn't. And what's also interesting is just past these trees and down the hill is Warner Brothers Studios and you pass Warner Brothers if you're coming along Coenga and, and over on the Forest Lawn Drive you're gonna pass for um, Warner Brothers Studios and that's where you film Full House which got me thinking as I was driving here I was like oh yeah Full House is at Warner Brothers kind of the same with John Ritter who's buried in Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills just over there it's, they're pretty much connected to each other and see those two white things up on the hill there it's Forest Lawn down there Disney ABC Studios is right across the street. That's where he uh, taped Eight Simple Rules, John Ritter, where he passed away on the set. So it's a little ironic that two of the most beloved comedic actors are buried so close to their, where they did some of their most prominent, some of the most famous work. And, um, and also with John Ritter, where he actually passed away. Bob Saget passed away over in Orlando. And I did a video about where his last show was, and I'll put a link to that below as well. So let's go over and take a look at Bob Saget's new headstone. I believe it's right up here somewhere. We'll find it together. Gonna walk along the edge here. Can't remember exactly, but it's not going to be hard to find. It's right around here. The headstone. It's brand new. You can see lots of puddles on the graves. Um, is this Bob's here? No, that's not Bob's. Um, let me see. He's right up here. I could be a little off, but I'm going to figure it out. Hmm. Where was Bob? Well, I was just I was just here. Ah, I always go on about what a memory I have, and shot down this memory and I was right actually I was looking at this pinwheel 
and I can remember that that big granite head some before the trees but you get turned around a bit but here's uh, Bob Saget right here I'm gonna read to you what it says Robert L Saget May 17th 1956 to January 9th 2022 loving and devoted husband father son uncle brother and friend he brought people together and made them laugh a very great man very nice and his family's just down there right around that tree there over that side so as you can see somebody else has been out here and just left a rock recently it looks like and i brought one of course in keeping with the jewish faith so sorry i keep the camera i'm trying not to get the camera wet i don't care about myself but i'm getting i'm getting very wet but so i've left the rock I forget where i was um hoping the mic is picking up i'm saying because it's just coming it's, for los angeles this is brutal but so I leave a rock in keeping with the Jewish tradition, the Jewish faith. I've been doing it since I was little, and a lot of people ask me, "Why do you do that?" And I get asked at least once a day. So hopefully, people will be able to watch the video, and I can answer to a lot of people that have asked me. I, I try to answer each time, but it's difficult. In ancient, like the biblical times, sort of people would there was no headstones like these. Like people didn't have headstones, so they would leave stones piles of stones as a marking of where their loved one was right and then there's a practice of writing letters to the deceased and um, shoving them or not shoving them I should say pushing them into the western wall in Jerusalem and with rocks and then people would do that on the heads when they started to have heads they would try to put notes into the crevices as well and leave them down with a stone so they wouldn't blow away now eventually the paper or whatever the parchment whatever they wrote on would deteriorate but the rock remains so that's another reason. That's one. There's so many different reasons. Another th the reason is about keeping the soul intact, keeping the soul uh, in the grave, so it cannot be released, so it's safe. Another reason: creating a village to show you a sign of respect. So lots of rocks. If you go through a Jewish cemetery, right here is not a lot. They may have gone through today. It looks like there's some mowing going on. May have gone through this area today, but there, there's a rock there, rock there. It's really coming down now, but. You see piles of rocks in Jewish cemeteries, and that's to show a sign of respect that you've been there. What was that thing they said about never staying under a tree? It's not a thunderstorm, so it's just okay. But yeah, so that's kind of the that's that is the reason. There's so many different beliefs behind it. Um, for me, it's a sign of respect, a sign I've been there. I think another reason is flowers disintegrate, blow away. A rock remains and I mostly in the Jewish cemetery when they do their um, uh, what should we call it sorry it's very distracting right now with the tractor going by so yes I was about to forget where I was they will go right over it and as you can see, they're indented in the ground, so the rocks usually do remain. But most cemeteries clear away flowers and trinkets that are left behind. Every so often, they do a clean-up of the cemetery. Jewish cemetery, the rocks tend to stay. So I do that at other cemeteries. And uh, another thing people have said is, that, well, if you leave a rock, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get caught in the lawnmower. And I've had to explain many times that in all cemeteries, maintenance workers are very careful about going over they they're looking ahead they see what's ahead of them and i've talked to cemetery workers about this and they either remove the piece or they go right over it with with these as you saw they're not regular lawnmowers certain things are not going to destroy the uh, machinery and it's a cemetery it's you're supposed to leave things if you want to for your loved ones Paying our respect to the man behind America's Finest Home Videos, Full House, Dirty Work, one of the most beloved comedians of all time, one of the most foul mouth comedians of all time. People, you got to watch some of his stand-up. He's not Danny Tanner in a stand-up. He's completely different. So I knew this video wouldn't be very long, but it's actually going to be really short because I am uh, getting soaked out here. Again, which is fine. I'm not afraid to get wet. I'm not afraid to have... Um, a little water on me but the camera I got a little worried about that so 
I want to show you Bob's new headstone. It is here at Mount Sinai Cemetery, all the way up at the back. Come visit Bob. And uh, very nice people. Uh, just give me a really big smile. That's what I to see. And all the way up around to the back. And uh, it's there's a pin on Finder Grave. You'll find you'll find Bob very easily. All right, thanks for watching. Lots of videos coming very very soon. And please subscribe. I've never said that before. I always forget to say subscribe. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. I love you, Bob Saget. I love Bob Saget so much. I know you all did as well. Peace out. Oh, and before I leave, I thought I'd let you know that Bob's funeral was actually held here at Mount Sinai, and there's a private. Uh, family and friends memorial service at Jeff Franklin's house who is the creator of Full House. He's got that huge house up on Cielo Drive. Usually. Maybe afraid of me. I'll back up a bit. <laughs> so that squirrel right there is named Demanda and like Amanda but Demanda because she now I've become quite friendly with the workers here over the years and um, they're I, I can't say enough about the Mount Sinai Cemetery workers how nice they are and so they were we were just talking about the squirrel and they feed her every day she brings food home for her family she's got a little family up, up over in those trees right sorry right there but she actually will take the food they give they give her something and bury it near the rocks during bad weather like this which is rare but bury the food and then when it's nicer and also save it I guess for her family but right now she's chowing down that is so cute to see. And she recognizes one of the lady's cars who feeds her all the time. And, they, and she comes right up to the car. As you can see, she was petting her and everything. So sweet. There goes Amanda. Amanda wants more food. All right. See you all in the next video. She got more food buried over here. She eats well. Demanda. <laughs>